My name is Elizabeth Markham. I'm 27 years old from New York, New York. When I was a student at MIT, I was chosen for the famous MIT Blackjack team. You know that movie 21? That was basically about me. You have to be able to keep track of the cards as they come out while also making chit chat and flirting with the other people at the table and pretend like you're not counting. You want nobody to realize that you're smart. That'll be very, very similar to being on Survivor where I'm going to be the strategic player who's running the show and making all the big moves happen and people will think I'm the cute girl. I'm charming, I can be seductive and sexy. I am tough and ferocious and I can outthink just about anybody out there. I'm basically a real life Bond girl. I am an experienced outdoor person. I've gone ice climbing up waterfalls. I've pulled people out of crevasses saving their lives and mine. Been struck by lightning in the Andes. I've camped and hiked in the jungle and I'm not even the slightest bit intimidated by the outdoor side of Survivor. When I tell people I'm a high frequency trader, they're one of two possible responses. The first one is they think I'm the root of all evil. The second one, they think I must be a genius. Wall Street's considered to be one of the most tough and cutthroat and competitive work environments out there where you really live and die by the quality of the decisions you make. And I know I can handle people in Survivor because I can handle Wall Street. I'm going to be one of the most strategic and intense and manipulating players that's ever been on the show. I'm not going to have any moral qualms with manipulating and betraying and backstabbing the people in the game. I can save being nice for my real life, but it has no place on Survivor. I intend to take my inspiration from Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, who is just as devious and manipulative as Russell and Tony, but nobody really sees that or calls him out on it. Chaos is a ladder, <laughs> and I'm going to create lots of chaos. At the last reward challenge post-merge, I'm going to fake an injury. Maybe then the other contestants won't see me as a threat in the merge. I'm going to enter a mutual defense attack with somebody from the other alliance. What this means is I make sure my alliance doesn't vote for them. In return, they make sure their alliance doesn't vote for me, and in this way, we both get to the merge. When I was in a big match in a collegiate tournament, there was a girl who was two points ahead of me, and I saw her stumble a bit, and I took the opportunity and did a spin hook kick, which is basically like a baseball bat to the side of her head. She was unconscious for about 30 seconds, so I won the match. Did I feel bad? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but not really. When I'm on Survivor, the guys aren't going to stand a chance. My only advice to them is don't fall in love, because I'm not sure whether it's worse to get stabbed in the back or have your heart broken.